hello guys welcome back to my channel um so today's topic we're gonna study organic chemistry and we're gonna start with the basic definition so uh what is matter matter is anything that has mass and occupies space and there are two types of matter substance and mixture substance is the one which has uniform composition for example air and it includes elements and compound and mixture is the one which has non-uniform composition for example blood and the examples are homogeneous and heterogeneous he homogeneous is the one which has same composition and heterogeneous which has different composition homo means same and hetero means different the branches of chemistry are organic inorganic and uh, physical pharmacy well in uh, pharmacy these are the organic uh, uh, chemistry branches and in pharmacy there are five disciplines of pharmacy one is pharmacology pharmacognosy pharmaceutics pharma pharmacy practice and pharmaceutical chemistry and uh, pharmaceutical chemistry includes organic chemistry biochemistry instrumental chemistry and medicinal chemistry so a medicinal chemistry is the chemistry based on a discipline involving biological medis medical and pharmaceutical sciences or it is concerned with invention discovery design identification and preparation of biologically active compounds uh, it is related to medicine so that's why and its study of metabolism explanation of mode of action at molecular level and, constant, and construction of structure related activity which we known as SAR and what is drug a drug is a substance that is uh, uh, used for diagnosis or treatment or care or relief or prevention of a disease or uh, it affects the structure or function of body or it changes the um, alters the normal body function of the body and uh, IPF stands for International Pharmacy Federation PCP stands for Pharma Pharmacy Council of Pakistan and pharmaceutical stands for drug formulation next we have is organic chemistry so our organic chemistry is the science related to living organisms well, uh, organic means living organisms and uh, organic chemistry is concerned with organic compounds. And uh, the history of organic chemistry is that Lemanry, he found three sources of drugs that are plant, animal and minerals. Levasor, he divided the drugs into two groups, one drugs for plant and animal and drugs from mineral. Berzelius, he presented the vital force theory in which uh, the plant and animals can synthesize organic compounds and minerals are inorganic. Shield, he derived tartaric acid from grapes and citric acid from a lemon. And Sir Turner, he made morphine from opium. Roll, he made urea from human urine, uh, the organic one. And uh, Friedrich Wohler, he made uh, ammonium cyanate from, um, he made ammonia from ammonium cyanate. Coal made acetic acid, uh, barlot made methane gas, yet four. What is the application of organic chemistry? So uh, organic chemistry is, uh, we can see it in foods, in fuel, clothing, uh, health aids, leather, wooden products. It helps to synthesize them or organic compounds are used to make them. And in industry, um, organic chemistry is used for production of sugar, fertilizer, rubber and petroleum products. And the reaction in vital force theory or uh, um, uh, the reaction that Wohler did was that he made silver um, cyanide, he reacted it with uh, ammonium chloride and he got silver chloride and acid. Well, that's what he wanted, but he got instead urea when he heated ammonium cyanide. So that's how uh, vital force theory was um, rejected or accepted. Next we have is atoms. Uh, atoms are the basic fundamental unit of matter and due to their uh, unique arrangement they form so many compounds and who is the first person who gave the idea of atoms it was Democritus he gave it in 400 BC and uh, John Dalton actually proved the existence of atoms. And as we can see in the structure, in an atom, there is a neutron and protons in the center and electrons outside. And uh, when uh, we have only, 
when we count only the protons we have atomic number or proton number and it is represented by z and um, when we have a cation which is a positive um, agent it has more protons and an ion is the one which is negative charge and it has negative charge and how it has more negative charge is because of electron so um, that's how it is next atomic mass or mass number is the number of protons and nuclear uh, neutrons in the nucleus of an atom and its symbol is a and isotopes are those elements which have same proton number but different neutron number and we have example of hydrogen and uh, uh, one is uh, protein uh, protium deuterium and tritium next uh, elements which have the uh, outermost shell complete are called noble gases and which have incomplete they have to uh, lose or share or gain electrons and they follow a duplet rule when they um, uh, make their valence shell up to two electrons and they follow octet rule when their electrons are up to uh, eight uh, electrons in the valence shell that's called octet rule the electrons in the valence shell are called valence electrons and a valence shell is the outermost shell which has um, uh, electrons that can be uh, lost gained or that depending on the type of atom and why octet rule is done why elements react is because they want they are uh, they want to be stable they want to lose the elect uh, electrons that is making them stable just like in this universe everything wants to go towards perfection or be stable just like that next we have is oxidation from oxidation you can see the word oxy so oxygen so oxygen is the gain of uh, uh, oxidation is the gain of oxygen and it is the loss of uh, hydrogen or proton and it is the, also the loss of electrons and reduction is the gain of electrons or a gain of oxygen or loss of hydrogen that is uh, reduction i'm sorry i wrote it wrong in here reduction a reduction is uh, actually loss of oxygen, gain of hydrogen, and uh, gain of electrons. That's reduction. Here it is written wrong. So correct it from what I said. Now ions are those atoms that carry or those species which carry positive or negative charge. And they have positive or negative charge due to less or more electrons and it does not depend upon the proton number. Now Lewis star diagram is uh, uh, was presented by Gilbert Newton Lewis in 1990 and in it uh, atom is in the center and electrons are represented by dots uh, we put dots and in Lewis structure we put straight chains straight bonds and those and now electron valency is the number of uh, electrons lost or gained by an atom uh, if it gives, then uh, the electron valency is positive, and if it takes, if it, if an atom has more electrons than its normal, then it will have negative charge. And uh, uh, covalency is when uh, the electrons are shared. For example, in covalent bond. So uh, yes. Next we have is Kekul's formula. Kekul formula is actually the one. Yes, Kekul formula is the one in which we have straight bond chains and Lewis structure is the one in which we have a Chris dot uh, structure. And next we have types of Kekul formula. They are number one structure formula. Next we have condensed formula and third we have molecular formula. Uh, structure formula is the one in which uh, we explain the structure. Uh, we draw the lines and stuff. Condense is we write it together and molecular formula is when we tell how many atoms are there in a compound now what is chemical bonding chemical bonding is the uh, we'll explain chemical bonding in the next one thank you guys for watching and i hope you understood if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section below and please make sure to subscribe and share this video and um, if you have any questions you can ask in the comment box thank you very much